And now for a few hints on wicket keeping demonstrated by that wizard of the wicket, Godfrey Evans. The first thing he does is to mark his position behind the wicket so that he can see the bowler clearly from outside the off stump. Now he literally gets down to it with his gloves well open and pointing downwards. He's comfortably squatted and perfectly balanced. Godfrey shows how to take the ball and be in a position to stump if necessary. The picture shows how the hands move with the direction of the ball. That's the secret of good catching. Grabbing at it is fatal. A good wicketkeeper must be as nimble on his feet as a good batsman. He gets over quickly in line with the ball, but keeps within easy reach of the stumps in case the batsman is out of his crease. The importance of rapid footwork cannot be overestimated. And the wicketkeeper takes the ball and throws it back to the bowler. You will see again how he moves with the direction of the ball and makes sure of taking it before attempting to stump. Look at that stance again. The play is mostly on the on side, but being perfectly balanced, he is ready in an instant to move across the wicket and receive the ball from any direction. Those hands couldn't miss anything. Stumping is the supreme test of alertness and quick thinking. Trained in shifting his hands with the direction of the ball, the expert keeper receives it and clips the bales off in one progressive movement. He is the opportunist who dashes in while the batsman's foot is lifted. The man who watches and waits but doesn't wait very long. Well stumped, sir. For taking fast bowling, he walks back a few paces to demonstrate what might happen if the distance is misjudged, as it so often is. His position is wrong. And he fumbles the ball and drops it. Now he goes farther back and takes up his correct position. That enables him to receive the ball cleanly. Squats well down again to get a good sight of the ball. Now catch on the leg side. Notice the position of the gloves, moving with the ball as it comes. A tricky one, but he's caught it, and there's no doubt about the umpire's decision. The keeper's keen eyes and the hands always ready in position have had their reward. Now he's collecting a return from a fieldsman and whips the bales off quickly. That one was a bit too straight. It's always wise to see that the pads are the right size, not too large or too cumbersome. They are made to protect and not to hinder, and the straps should be tucked away neatly after they're buckled. An inner glove is a necessity for a wicketkeeper. It acts as a cushion for the main glove and makes it fit more snugly, besides helping to protect the hands against bruises. And there we have the complete wicketkeeper with the gloves that might possibly save him from broken fingers. He's doing a grand key job in the field, and no player has a better chance of displaying the fine qualities of a resourceful cricketer. <laughs>